Hi, welcome to Nova Star course. This video will introduce you how to modify the graphics output in Windows 10 and how to use the smart settings function in Nova LCT to configure a module and make it work properly. Before starting, confirm some module information including the models of the driver IC and decoding IC and pixel weights and height of the module. Then, use a USB cable and video cable like the DVI cable to connect the control PC and sending device. The USB cable is used for control signal transmission and the video cable is used for the video signal transmission. In addition, Ensure that the RG45 cables between the sending and receiving devices and the flight cables between the receiving cars and modules are properly connected. Here, please make sure. 1. The module is connected to the first slot, JH1, of the hub card of the first receiving card which is connected to the first port of the sending device. 2. The sending device is directly connected to the PC, the skill function is turned off, and no third-party device is connected. 3. The PC is duplicate display mode and the scaling level is 100%. Since Windows 10 has a different graphics card setting from that of Windows 7, here we show the operation in Windows 10. Right-click on the desktop, select Display Settings. Under Scale and Layout, adjust the percentage to 100%. Then adjust the resolution to make it higher than or equal to the resolution of the LED display. Under Multiple Displays, click to expand the drop-down menu. Select Duplicate this displays. Click Keep Changes and close the page when the changes are completed. Double-click to open Nova LCT. Click User and select Advanced Synchronous System User Login. Enter the password Admin. Click Screen Configuration. And then click Next. On the Sending Card tab page, go to the Source Configuration area. Change the resolution and make it the same as the output resolution of the graphics card. Click Set. Click Refresh to check if the setting is successful. Move to the Receiving Card tab. Select Smart Settings and click Next. In Smart Settings Guide 1, select the Model Chip first. Click Select Chip Type to find the model of the driver IC on the module. Because the model of the IC in the demo is SM16026, which is not in the chip list, we can select Common Chip. Click OK. Select Parallel Drive. Enter the resolution of the demo module. 64 pixels by 32 pixels. The decoding IC model is 74HC138. Click Next. The following settings are based on the actual display of the module. Please pay attention to the real-time display of the module in the upper right corner. In Smart Settings Guide 2, the module is displaying a black screen. So, select Full Black. Click Next. In Smart Settings Guide 3, switch to Menu. Select the corresponding color that the module displays.
click Next. In Smart Settings Guide 4, count and enter the number of the lighted rows or columns on the module. This step also shows how many data groups the module uses. A data group is used to light a specified pixel area, which is independently scanned each time on the module. To know the number of the data groups, just divide the module pixel height by the number of the lighted rows on the module. It may be used in cabinet configuration. In Smart Sightings Guide 5, Count and enter the number of the rows or columns lighted on the module. Click Next to enter Smart Settings Guide 9. You can see a pixel flashing on the module. Click on the corresponding positions in Nova LCT to draw the points one by one based on lighted pixels. If you find a certain row, click Automatic Generation and then continue to observe the flashing pixels and complete the corresponding drawing. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to complete the drawing. After the drawing is completed, the software will pop up Completed Drawing Running Line Table. Click OK. Click Next. At this point, the smart settings are almost finished. You can save the information of the module on this page. Enter the name of the module and then click Complete for further use. At last, you can move the cursor to the upper left corner of the desktop to observe the display of the module and check if the configuration is successful. Now the smart sightings are completed. See you next time.